Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway? It is time. Before we get going, we're going to remind you what's about to happen in here. We're going to play some improv games. First thing we're going to ask you to do, if you wouldn't mind, every one of you is going to get a chance to come up here and be a performer. Let's turn off those cell phones, anything that's going to make a noise and distract the performers. Thank you very much, Sarah. Yeah, sorry, it smells like chocolate. <laughs> Mother God damn it, it smells better than normal. How does horse run to smell better than normal? Because I'm a fat, fat man. This thing's like a furnace on my head. You're wearing plastic in front of your face. Go screw. Yeah, Who's like that's how this works? There's a few things that I would like you to remind you. But there's a few things I would like to help you out with. So when doing improv, you've all heard this phrase before, yes and. You've all heard yes and. What does yes and mean? The two things you're taking away from yes and is one, never take away somebody's seat. If the, my partner says we are doing something, says we are in a place, makes an action, I don't ever take away that moment. I don't take away that action. I don't correct them. They said it, it happened. I have to roll with it. That's the yes. And means I'm going to add to it. You always add to a scene. So yes and, if they start, you're going to take what they're doing and that's part of the scene. And is you're going to add to it. Now, how do you do something like that? It's back and forth, back and forth. Remember, you don't. if there's another person up here with you, you don't want to do what I'm doing right now. You don't want to monologue. You want to share the stage. You want to throw to them. We're going to be playing a few games today where there's only going to be a few of you on the stage. If one of you doesn't get to talk, the people in the audience, they might like the scene, but they're also going to remember, there was that poor guy up there that didn't get a single line throw to each other, play together. This isn't comedy, this isn't stand-up. You're not up here telling your story. You're up here as a team, and that's the beauty of improv. You're all in this together. Whoever's on this stage, that's your partner. Best of luck. On top of that, silence is deadly. What you are trying to do up here is keep moving. It doesn't matter if you fail. Improv is all about failing. My teacher told me, you are going to fail seven out of every 10 times. I've been doing this for years, that is absolutely true. I tell dud jokes all the time, but that's fine. It's improv. Keep moving on and try not to go silent. Saying something is always better than saying nothing. And remember, fail with style. If you're going out of the game, if you can't do it, say your one-liner, hell, scream fuck, and leave the stage. <laughs> it's fun, what? That's our one. Scream, darn it, fiddlesticks, fiddly dee. But in your mind, say fuck and then leave the stage. <laughs> See, that one was in my mind. That's why I got oh, a nice yeah, good one. Yeah, that was totally in my head. Totally in my head. Uh, which one am I missing? There's always three. Hey, I'm Wyatt. Wyatt, 17 plus. You want to rewind? 17 plus? Say fuck and leave the city. Fuck! <laughs> Oh, thank you. And as always, uh, we're do the opposite. This is the furry fandom. If you're nervous, if you don't know if you want to come up here, two things I want to tell you. Number one, we're going to be playing a game called either World's Worst or Scenes from a Hat. If you're a little worried about your uh, ability to come up with it on the spot, those are games you're going to get a little bit more time to think about it. That's the game for you. But that being said, don't let that get to you. You are in front of the furry fandom. This is your audience. This isn't just an audience, these are your friends. It's the best audience you will ever be in front of. Please, 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 if you want to try, if any part of you wants to be on the stage, raise your hand. I want to see you up here. I want you to have a good time. Are we ready? Yeah! All right, ladies and gentlemen, both and neither, here it goes. Welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway? Questions only! 
everybody, here's how this one works. You're going to have a back and forth conversation. One person, then the other. One person, the other. You want to go five times in a row with your partner, but you may only speak in questions. Who would like to give this one a try? Two fursuiters. That's two, three in the back, four in the front, five. Right pole all the way in the back and the person sitting next to you. And there we go, that's six. All the way in the back, white mask, that's seven. Blue, uh, pink shirt, yep, that's you. You just look at your shirt, eight. And then right here, blue hair, yep, you're one of them, yep. And yes, you have the, I can't see if that's a bandana, yep, you just did this, you're in. All right. Join us. Uh, you, um, I think we should have a threesome. <laughs> that is a very good statement. For the statement of the <laughs> Give it up on the round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, good team. You've been doing us 
Let's get to five. Let's get to five. Starting over here and go. Are you sure this is what you ordered? What else is on the menu? I'm not sure. Oh, Steven. We're early in the game. We're early in the game. Resetting the counter. Go. I think they have uh, some lemon up, up, up there. Statement. It's hard. It's not an easy game. One more. One more. One more. It's very hard. we I'm going to try to get you guys to three. One more. Go ahead. Get to three. You got this. Remember, just make your voice go up at the end. It turns everything into a question or you're from California. Are you sure you want to eat here? There you go. Where else am I supposed to eat at this convention? Aren't there better places? Do you think I would be in this restaurant if I had options? <laughs> you got me there. Give them a round of applause! Oh, good job. Come on in, come on in. How can I help you? Do you have any cheese graters? What's a cheese grater? <laughs> You don't know what a cheese grater is? Does it look like I'd be the kind of person that'd know that sort of thing? <laughs> Any steaks? How high do you want the steaks? <laughs> How high do they go? <laughs> you a betting man? <laughs> Do you have any salads, actually? <laughs> answer it, answer it. Soup or salad? Five for five! Oh! Yeah! Did you order tall, pale, and hairy? <laughs> Why would I take something that's your type? <laughs> Didn't you ask if I'd share? <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that you... It's okay, it's okay. You caught yourself, you caught yourself. Go ahead. Well, when were you expecting? Do you have plans after dinner? <laughs> what time? What time do you want? <laughs> mm. When does the convention end? Never. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
ones the men status yelled at me, the biggest bowl of twine in Minnesota. You guys are going to the biggest bowl of twine in Minnesota. Really quick, uh, orange fursuiter, orange fursuiter, what is a debate that you might have with your family? What's something you might argue about while in the car on a road trip? You got anything? Um, he was always your favorite The best, uh... <laughs> The what? Wait. The best use for said ball of twine. The best use for said ball of twine. Why would this twine be better used someplace else? So that sounds good. You're on a road trip. The discussion is going to be the best use for the ball of twine, but the game was called one, two, three, four. You may only speak in four word sentences, three word sentences, two word sentences, one word sentences. Listen for scene change, is if I approach the vehicle, I am in the game. Everyone understand? The game is one, two, three, four. The destination is the biggest ball of twine in Minnesota. The discussion is what the ball of twine can be used for. Four, three, two, one, begin. Uh, are we having fun? Nice. Uh, twine is stupid. Really? <laughs> Why you say that, huh? Nice. Boring, lame, dumb. Agreed. <laughs> like your hairstyle? Oh. Hey. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> Can I hang myself? <laughs> Hell no. Not while you drive. Wait, uh, I'll take you with me. Please, 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 please. <laughs> so bored. <laughs> As usual. Why are you so eager? Let's go. Didn't you hear me? Did we miss the exit? Well, yeah. Woo! Police car approaching the vehicle. Give me a number between one and five. Seven. Three. Three, and then what's that other number? It's seven? Yeah. Seven minus three. Oh, okay. You know how fast? <laughs> Answer him. Do you want to drive? Yeah, um, right. no. Making sure your driver. That depends. <laughs> what could that depend? I need help. They're scary. Are you in danger? Very much so. Please stop complaining. <laughs> Will you shoot me, please? You're driving the car! Just get it over with. Is that noose in car? <laughs> Guys, give them a round of applause! For one, two, three, four, do not raise your hand if you are up for questions only. We need more contestants. A uh, gray shirt right there. Yeah, you just nodded. Standing in the back, gray shirt. Thank you very much. Hand half up with the white mask on. You're standing. Green hair, white ears. You have your, your pointy interest. Yep, yep, you got it. Thank you. All right, come on up. Maybe you pass up the microphone. Oh, yeah, that's way smarter. All right, now you know how the game works. So back in the room. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Where are they going? Florida. Florida. Go, that is a horrific road trip. Number three, whoever 
said Hawaii, you're stupid. <laughs> you can't drive to Hawaii. No, they're cute. Unicorn, yellow unicorn horn, what is a debate you would have with your family in the car? This child is the favorite. <laughs> Is it me, Mom? Is it me, Mom? Is it me, Mom? Do you think? <laughs> I don't really think it is, though. Oh, come on now. Whoa. I'm the cutest one. That's debatable. Uh -uh. So, 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 so debatable. Nice! <laughs> well, I'm the smartest. <laughs> but oh, Says who? Says my teacher, Jim. Jim isn't a certified teacher. He lied. <laughs> well, I mean, I have the most talent. I am a thespian. You're a what I now? I didn't know that's what they were calling it. Thespian. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and why are you the favorite? I am. Are you sure about that? Want proof? Definitely. Cut your, word, cut your amount of words in half. One, two, three, four. What's proof? Yes. <laughs> yes, what? Do you... I have proof. Do you... Say. <laughs> but I'm do... so magical. And one. Two, three, four, five. I'm sorry, but yeah, you're not Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, I peed myself. <laughs> ah, shit. This is why you're not the favorite. <laughs> That's super unfortunate. This is why you're not the favorite. <laughs> I don't think any of us are. <laughs> He's not. <laughs> An yeah. even number between one and ten, bluebird fursuiter. Even number between one and ten? Yes. Six divided by two is three. Woo! Oh, me? No, no, me. Oh, me. Who are you? ID Hi, registration. Sir. Oh, right? shit, cops. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, officer, what happened was... I keep myself. <laughs> Did I ask? No, you didn't. He, does, he doesn't have a driver's license nor a registration to this car. <laughs> Lots of words! He is a child. <laughs> You've got explaining. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I hate job. <laughs> Too close. This is Florida. That's fine. Did you have to come up with something? You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> On to I... Disney World. Let's go! They got it! Get the front One more time around. Who wants to try one, two, three, four? I need the back of the room this time. Green paw, come on up. Pink shirt, yep, thank you. White, pink hat, come on up. Those aren't hands, those are ears. Uh, orange balaclava, come on up. And blue, uh, uh, like, turquoise shirt. Yep, that's you. You just look down. Come on up. All right. We're going to run this game one more time. One, two, three, four. You got the stage. Thank you. Yep. All right, I need, uh, this time, where are they going that's just, not a location, they're going somewhere, but it's just, not, not just a fist pump. They're doing the ball. An air show. Air show. Air show. Air show. Air show. Air way to hell. Get to a stage. Air show. show. All right, you guys are going to an air show. You're going to an air show. All right, what is the debate? Uh, can I get, uh, 
Say it again. Maybe she crashes. Hey, is that plane bombing us? Is mayonnaise an instrument? <laughs> is mayonnaise an instrument? Is mayonnaise Who's high? Who's high no. right now? <laughs> Us two? Maybe? We'll Wait. be high. <laughs> Definitely high. Are you of age? Yes. I am. Does it matter? You? <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> really! It matters! to tell you. I'm scared. Please, elaborate. He's scary. Why now? I need you to start for me. Get him around him! Good job! Good job! Holy shit, that was good. Also, I don't know if you guys heard it, this motherfucker while I too went, yes, and, and I almost pissed him. <laughs> great job, great job. That was quite a good 
Oh, I do know. All right, guys, we're about to. Uh, thank you. Really appreciate it, dude. All right, our next game, like I told you before, we're going to do a game for anyone who's a little bit worried about not coming up with things quickly. This is the game for you. Ladies and gentlemen, both and neither, it's time for World's Worst! <laughs> Poker, I need your help with this one to run microphones, if you don't mind. Uh -oh. Iggy, you're going to run microphones on stage. Poker, you're in front of the stage. That's what I needed. Thank you so much. All right. I'm so prepared. Alright, we're going to play World's War, so here's how this one works. We're going to form two lines. Taller people on the stage, shorter people in front of the stage. We'll run the microphone when you come up with one. We're going to play this game for about ten minutes. Just have fun with this one. Again, if you're worried about not coming up with things quickly, this is the game for you. Come up here, give it a try. If you don't give a single answer, it's fine. But if you want to be on the stage, this is your time. So, who out there would like to play a game of World's Worst? Raise your hand. Very, very calmly and slowly, if your hand is up and you are over six feet tall, get on the stage. If you are under six feet tall, line up in front of the stage. Please don't trample each other. But I'm exactly six feet tall. Uh, then you're choice. Well, you have the top hat. You're up here. I'm <laughs> sure. Yes. <laughs> How dare he call me all like that? I'm a little bit of a big step. I mean, what do you want to do? You have All right, the game is World's Worst. All right, we've got a bigger crew, so we're going to do a few of these. I will eventually stop each one from going on. Poker, do you have a microphone? Thank you. Iggy, do you have a microphone? Wonderful, all right. Can I get a number between one and six? No. Four. Four and a half. All right, here we go. The game, it's world's worst. The topic is world's worst way to break bad news to your significant other. World's worst way to break, break bad news to your significant other. Start with Toad. And send tweets. <laughs> Front row. Hey, well, I'm going to take you to your favorite restaurant. We're going to have an amazing night. Oh, boy. <laughs> Back row. Honey, we lost the house. Just kidding. Instead. <laughs> so the mother-in-law's coming into town. <laughs> hey, honey, you know how me and your dad never got along? Great news, he's dead. <laughs> oh, Cthulhu. Front row. And I'm so glad to have you all here tonight, especially you, honey. And hey, while we're on that topic, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Back row. You know what's funny? My best friend just died. <laughs> Fair enough, front row. And thank you for the keys, and read this when I'm gone. <laughs> oh, back row. Me? Oh, he, he's gone. He just told me to give you a message. <laughs> front row. So, sweetie, I wrote a musical on our dad's divorce. <laughs> oh, oh, back row. I'll see you in court. Straight to the point, front row. All right, so you know how we were running out of food, right? <laughs> back row. So how much postage will that be? Front row. So remember that thing you wanted for your birthday? Well, I didn't get you that, but I got the divorce papers. <laughs> oh my god, darling, I just got the most magnificent news. I'm about to make all my dreams come true. <laughs> Front row starting over, where is it, where is it? Okay, that's perfect, now start there. You know those group of friends I introduced you to? Well, I'm leaving you for them. <laughs> oh, 
all the way to the right in the front row, all the way. Sorry, to David, yep. So you know how you told me to give the baby a bath? Well, um, the washing machine is broken now. <laughs> and we're ending it there. Can I get a number between one and five? Three. World's worst thing to hear your GPS say. World's worst thing to hear your GPS say. This gentleman's hand shot right up. Thank you. Turn around. Well, you're about to be fucked. Back row! Make a Q-turn. <laughs> Front row! And on your left, you'll see hell. Back row! Now take a right turn and you'll be in heaven. <laughs> Front row! You are now crossing the bridge. Take a left turn. <laughs> Back row! Welcome to Rhode Island. Thank you for visiting Rhode Island. <laughs> Front row. Now turning into the volcano. Back <laughs> row. In five miles, it turned directly upward. <laughs> Front row. Turn right, 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 right. Back row. Welcome to Florida. You're never going to leave. <laughs> Bro, you've arrived at Ted Cruz's. <laughs> Back row. Welcome to Canada. Thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> recalculating, 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 recalculating. <laughs> Back row. Now entering Ukraine. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> God damn, front row! Welcome to Chernobyl. Chernobyl! Back row! In 743 miles, your final destination will be left in Texas. Oh my god, front row! We do acting to evil X. Autopilot engaged. Autopilot cannot be disengaged. No. Back row! You have reached your destination. The end of time. <laughs> front row! Hell, even I'm lost. <laughs> Back row. Now nearing the airport. It's in plain sight. Oh! Oh! Love it. Front row. Continue 13 miles. Welcome to your tape. <laughs> Back row. A fracture detected. Contacting CPS. Oh! Oh! The fuck front row? Rerouting, rerouting. Powering down. <laughs> Back row! Just so you know, I know where you live. <laughs> Pick a number between one and four. Two. New topic! What? Read it! I'm an idiot. No, no, I'm just stupid. World's worst... Okay, I just typed this out horribly. <laughs> World's worst idea to hide your secret society from prying eyes. How do you hide your secret society from prying eyes? World's worst idea. Back row. Why hide? Let them all dream. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Cthulhu. Front row. No, all I have to do is become president. <laughs> oh God, back row. On top of the world's tallest roller coaster. <laughs> Fair enough, front row. So we call it a fandom. <laughs> Back row. Welcome to the Advanced Geometry Club. <laughs> Front row. Hey, so I think we've done our fandoms mixed up, so everyone knows you're divorced now. <laughs> Back row. It's a small world after all. It's a small world after all. Front row. First, you get a giant block of cheese. <laughs> I mean, it's a good start. Back row. And I'll call it Anthrocon. <laughs> Front row. Look, everybody's going to want to join hands with Lord Zenon. We just have to get Tom Cruise on board. <laughs> Back row. Have you ever heard of a webcomic called Homestuck? No! <laughs> Everybody already makes fun of the Illuminati. 
Fair enough, back row. Post a Facebook link to Twitter. Thanks. <laughs> Front row. To go off of that, and we'll call it the furry convention. Oh, oh my god, back row. Don't worry, all of our secrets are securely stored on the blockchain. <laughs> Front row. All right, this should, this flyer should get us some new members. Jesus, back row! Remember, the code word is Republican. <laughs> and new topic! I'm not going to ask you for a number because I haven't got to see this one yet. I've been looking forward to it coming up. So guys, I need to know, world's worst epitaph. That is the line of dialogue that is engraved on your tombstone. World's worst epitaph, bonus points if it rhymes. World's worst epitaph, doesn't need to rhyme, I'm just saying there's a bonus if it rhymes. Back row, go. Here lies Dan, lying all of the time. <laughs> Front row. You have died of dysentery. <laughs> Here lies Jim Toner. He was dead with the largest boner. <laughs> That's one hell of a mound on that tombstone there. <laughs> Front row. He thought it was a fur con he'd be going to do, too. Now he lies here forevermore. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Back row. Hey, watch this. <laughs> Front row. Call it fate or call it chance, but at least I didn't poop my pants. <laughs> Back row. Here lies Status Ferret, the hottest man alive, but now he's merely room temperature. <laughs> Front row. The entire B movie script. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that was glorious. <laughs> You're staying up there for the next game. <laughs> the entire B-movie script, fuck you. Back row. He would never give you up, he would never let you down, but he did desert you. <laughs> Front row. Took you long enough. <sighs> Back row. Here T poses Michael, born 1995, died 2022. <laughs> Front row. To start the necromancy ritual, please stand here. <laughs> back row. Here lies my beloved husband on his back as he did in life. <laughs> Front row. I'm on the highway to hell. <laughs> back row. And he was a bottom. <laughs> Front row. Hold my beer. Oh shit. Back row! They told me they could give it a name, but it became my bane. <laughs> Front row! So Lil Nas got a cult, but I got this? <laughs> nice! Back row! Here lies Frederick Flamidia. Do I need to finish it? <laughs> God damn it, dude. Well played, well played. Front row. Jeremy, 2000 to 2005. Noob. <laughs> Though it may be a buzzkill when you're not at home, never let your wife's sister answer your cell phone. <laughs> oh! Front row! Here lies my hopes and dreams. Fuck them. <laughs> back row! Ah, joke's on you, I'm coming back after the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> front row! Unsubscribe. <laughs> Quick fire, keep going in the back row. Iggy, finish off everyone with a hand up in the back row, go. He was your future. It was too optimistic. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Perfect. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> this doesn't smell that expired. I'm gonna go pull pro gamer move. Run it up to the other side. I'm gonna jump. Thank you, Mickey. Thank you. If you're reading this, I'm haunting your ass. <laughs> jump. Oh, look, dear, a urinal. 
famous from Vine, as her, her last line, uh, as her last line, you can't kill me. Exactly, just pass it down. You said I'd never leave. I said, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Going offline. <laughs> oh, not the bees! <laughs> Dim all the way. Dim all the Dim way! All the way. Dim. Oh, he did. <laughs> I meant it when I said I'd rather be dead. <laughs> Joke's on you. I believe in reincarnation. I'm coming back, bitches. <laughs> Quote, transformation de los mortos a los mortos reventes. Unquote. Please repeat three times in the minor. <laughs> <laughs> This casket brought to you by Ray Channel of Jesus. Finish it off, Fuzzy! Finish it off, Fuzzy! Air 404. <laughs> Guys, give them a round of applause! Thank you, everyone. Take your seats. Stay with me. Get up on the stage after they all get out of the way. All right. Where did that weird piece of paper go? We're going to do a very special game for a very ridiculous joke. That was very well done. Come on up. <laughs> Holy fuck, what's wrong with my ears? The entire script of the B movie fucking killed me with that. Did they get my phone? Yep, they have my phone. Alright, so this is supposed to be a game that we play on Charity Who's Lying, because uh, it's weird. This is difficult. But you came up with the entire B-movie script on a tombstone, so good luck. I need you to choose one of these two scenes. For sandwich lovers or Dracula of Pennsylvania. Dracula of Pennsylvania. This is called One-Sided Scene. One-sided scene is very silly. Uh, you might know this game as understudy. I know a lot of improv clubs call this one understudy. I have one half of a script here. I have one half of a script here from the play Dracula of Pennsylvania. What you need to know is Drake believes he's a vampire who caused the death of his mother in a traffic accident. His new friend Wes, a bit of a goth, is fascinated rather than horrified by this. I have half the script, you're on your own. This is a live play, I begin, good luck. You can do it! So, uh, thanks for coming over to my house this time. I close myself up in the closet, and all you can say is that looks like a coffin? <laughs> and so you can't possibly know what I'm gonna say. It's just reaction, reaction, and throw. You got this. I mean, I don't think I'm wrong. How could you possibly know that? Boring! <laughs> That's all you get. <laughs> I know what you are, but what am I? <laughs> it's just like in my dreams, but way stickier. I like it. We are so lucky. I know. This sucks. Dogs don't even like me. Well, I, I would neither. Then you need to stop kicking them. I haven't even told you the worst part yet. That scares me. Do you swear? No. <laughs> it's gonna burn. Come on. Sunlight. Get some water. Oh, 
get some sunscreen. An entire Christmas tree? Why not? My parents have a happy marriage! No, they don't. Your blood tastes like KFC gravy. That's weird. How do you know what my blood tastes like? Math! <laughs> Give them a round of applause! <laughs> that is one... Sorry, just making sure I didn't blow up the speakers. Uh, one more time, just a huge thank you in the back. Uh, so this panel right now is rated 17 plus, as uh, we discussed at the beginning. We're able to do a little bit more. I just wanted to let you all know, uh, because they made me guest of honor. Nomadicon is happening in January. That is an 18 plus con. I will be there. I will be running 18 plus improv. If you want to go wild, that's the con to be at. So I just want to give a shout out to AV who is helping at Nomadicon and who, for some crazy reason, made me the guest of honor. Gentlemen, thank you so much. It means the world to me. So that game is the more difficult game of a, a more difficult version of a very classic Who's Line game. I call it classic because it's called Who's Line. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Who's Line! I'll give the rules, you take care of the stage. Sure. Understood, thank you buddy. All right. Whose Line is a very easy game. On these slips of paper are quotes from either myself, Dragors, Iggy's, D&D &D games, yeah. going for drives in a car, yeah. stupid, out-of-context nonsense that we have said to one another through text or in person. You are going to get two of these pieces of paper. Two. You will keep one in each hand. You may not read them. Do not read them. We're going to give you a scene. It is a normal conversation. You're going to go back and forth. You will have one minute and 30 seconds to attempt to work in both of yours and your partners. You're a team. All four of the slips of paper. Remember, it's out of context. The first time you read them is as you're saying them. You need to build a lead in. You need to make sure that what you say before it could work with almost anything. Partner, when they say it, Roll with it, act with it. Don't just let it disappear. Roll with what they said. If you can do that, it's gonna be an amazing scene. I need two volunteers. All right, can I get an orange fursuiter in front of them? I want one from, you know what, let's do a double fursuiter. Uh, pink hair, yeah, come on up. Make sure that they're. I have to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on up, guys. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah. I understand what you're doing. For some reason, I thought you were putting them in the audience, but that's not how this works. Not at all. You're taking my. Speak. I'm going to get you two. Come on, the other side of the stage. Performers. Performers. This is very hard part, especially for first and third stage. You're about to have to off a piece of paper. The joke will flow. Squeak. As I just explained to them, this is actually a very difficult game for first shooters because of the fact that they need to read. So one more time, let's give them a huge round of applause. fun. You are in a detective agency. I didn't say who is the detective and I didn't say who is the player. Clayton, what the fuck? <laughs> Pick your role as the scene goes naturally. You are in a detective's office. The case is called the case of the dildo slapper. 
the case of the dildo slapper, the game is whose line? You have a minute and a half. I've lost oh, my fucking phone. Oh, well. No, it's all right. Yes, so who's got a cell phone in the front? Status? Can you give me a, a minute 30? Thank you. When you are ready, first shooter, take your time. All right. Ready? Go. Begin! Give me the rundown, boss. What's happening? Well, we have found approximately four dildos, and there is a witness for each slapping. <laughs> four of them, you said? Yes, we need to, we need to go um, interview them and see what happened. Well, from what I understand, I already got the one that's about that tall. I have a statement from them. It says... You ever think about killing someone and getting away with it just to feel more comfortable around the people you think killed someone and got away with it? I mean, I, I feel like slapping someone with a dildo is probably the least effective way to kill someone. Oh, this isn't a murder case? Uh, it, it, it seems like someone tried. <laughs> Attempted murder, got it. So I think that suspect's probably cleared. What about what about three? The one that was only this big. Um I think they may have actually been murdered because the dildos were huge. Oh no. <laughs> watch your time, watch your time. Uh what do you uh I don't know, what do you make of, of this? Like how what, is there anything special about the, the dildo? I, I um about the dildo. Um, well, they came in a variety of shapes and colors. I'm not sure where they got these. Uh, I'm gonna give you another 30 seconds. Another 30 seconds, go. Um, as far as go. Thank you. It's okay. I'm giving that their first shooters a little bit of extra time. I think is warranted. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. It's really hard. Very hard. That's I'm just kind of standard. Careful with your bravado. I old patient zero your ass with a mutated concoction from my shit genetics. <laughs> my singing voice has nothing to do with this, thank you. But I think I have a piece of information that might be useful. It was a review posted on Amazon for the for the murder weapon, and it says, When in doubt, start a cult. <laughs> No, the uh, the dildo slapping cult does seem very interesting. I'll have to look into it, but for now, I just got a report. There's been a second murder. It was me. Oh. Yeah, I know. You rub two twinks together and you get flames. <laughs> that the line? Yes. That was the line. Get it! Contestants, what? How much time do we have on that thing? Seven oh, we're good. We're good. All right. Uh, one more first shooter. We're gonna get, get first. Yes, you're there. All the way in the back. You're with us. Yeah. Come on. Oh. 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 I thought I right. entered the twilight uh, zone. Yeah. Okay. You have them in your pocket. I somewhere, see. somewhere in your. Give me a new one. Thank you. Two. Woo. Just give me four. I was trying yeah. to get oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Iggy, talk to the first suit or second thing. Yep. Thank you. Okay. All right. We need, uh, this time we're going to go with uh, a place that you would go on vacation. Toledo. Ski resort. Oh, my God. Come to home. Combining two of them, you are going to Disney World to participate in Drinks Around the World. <laughs> drinks Around the World is an Epcot event where you go from vendor to vendor and get a drink and everything. Just so you understand what it is. Good. Good. All right. All right. Welcome to Norway. If you don't know Norway, our policy is Control Z, the thing I didn't do. Control <laughs> Z. I've never heard of that one. So it's a very cool drink. You start with absinthe, and then you just go the night away, and you forget what you did. Oh my gosh! The last time I drank, I drank absinthe. I said, "You know, alkali, 
You did difficulty porn a pizza once. <laughs> did, what, did that happen in Italy? Because I love a good martini, don't you know? I think we were bouncing through there at the time. Alkali was very drunk. He was so drunk, he said, thank you for validating my boner. <laughs> Sooner. Why? He sounds hilarious. Oh my gosh, the last thing he said to me when he was that drunk is... Does he have a boner in this video? I'm not judging. I'm just saying, I'm getting some boner energy. You know, I think he has a lot of boners in him, but that's okay because I also heard him say, Tactical butt cheeks. Tactical butt cheeks. That's right, not only is he about the front, he's about the back, ladies. So then we went to Spain and we left Alkali in Italy because, you know, he couldn't move and he just, he couldn't stop holding on to himself. <laughs> and so then we got a margarita and, you know, a margarita's motto is, VR is amazing. I shot zombies while getting a blowjob. <laughs> if that's not a margarita, nothing is. So they have VR support at these bars now. Yeah, you have to pre appreciate when VR can be used. You could even drink VR, you know, with just a cocktail. <laughs> That's incredible, because the last time I walked into a bar with you, we said, this gets you from zero to turbo fucked in seconds. <laughs> oh, I agree. And what was that shot called? That was called the ferret. It was incredible. I don't remember much after what happened, though. I don't know why. I don't either, but we missed out the line. He woke up next to me in bed. It was a good time. <laughs> See how bad this is. <laughs> <laughs> you just jinxed yourself. You just smoke it into existence. Have a nice day. Right. <laughs> All right. You've got a face for the audience. The activity is picnicking. You're just picnicking. <laughs> Wonderful. How wholesome. Go for it. The scene is. The scene is picnicking. The game is whose line you have. A minute 30. Go. So, I know you said this was just going to be a casual picnic, but I did bring about a bottle of wine for each of us. Oh, that's going to be great. What kind of wine did you bring? Um, well, I didn't know what kind you liked, mm -hmm. so I made a stop. I brought um, a white, a red, and a sparkling. Oh, I kind of, I like the sparkling kind. Okay. And you know what? I was once on a picnic with Alkali. <laughs> <laughs> but he very soberly said, <laughs> "This is gonna be bad." Swasticles. <laughs> I want him back this year. <laughs> right? I guess they didn't have anybody better, so. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, 
I gotta say, the sparkling did come with like this extra slip of paper. Oh. Uh, I think it might have been a warning label. It oh, okay. said, "Yeah, we need to know that." Uh, hey, how do you spell Gianni? I'm trying to talk shit over here. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to spell that. Yeah, I don't either. But, I don't know, it might have been like some sort of mishap at the factory. I think the guy behind the counter was trying to hit on me, but he didn't seem all there. So I'm not exactly sure. He might have like slipped, scrip scribbled that down and like slipped it over. When oh, you know what? I was there because I was like getting some food yeah, yeah. anyway. So I did over here, and so mm -hmm. I saw that happen, so I stole the slip of paper. Oh, fantastic. And you know what it said? What did it say? It said, because I don't have kids, when my dad asks how the boys... Oh, how's the boys? He he does, in fact, mean my boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I dodged a pretty tiny, tiny bullet on that one. Oh, oh man. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, definitely. Yes. Okay, you gotta use them. You're off time. All right. And, you know, he also said just the weirdest thing to me that I, when I was, like, getting ready to leave. Mm -hmm. He went, is it rude to suck your dentist's fingers or just if you make a moaning noise? <laughs> <laughs> and like, anyone who needs that much play from their dentist because they're not getting it, like, I just want to, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's not a good idea. However, now I'm kind of questioning myself because when I was at the dentist last week, you know, I mean, I kind of did that. Uh, yeah. I mean, we all make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Scene! Give it all the time! That was good. That was good. All so right. Oh, my God. <laughs> just a little bit. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, both and neither, it's time for New Line! Woo! New Line is a very simple game. It's going to be a back and forth conversation, but every time I say the words, new line. you're going to have to replace what you just said with a totally new line. It's nice and simple. If you are up for questions only, do not raise your hand. You cannot play this game if you play questions only. That being said, let's get a few volunteers. Oh my God, there are so many people. All right, all the way in the back with the staff shirt and the red bandana. Yep, you're coming up. Two, blue shirt right here. Yep, you're coming up. Gray shirt right here. You're wearing the mask. You're sitting very still, stretching your back. Yep, you're coming up. This gray shirt too. Excellent. Gray shirt and Tobe, you two are coming up. Excellent. All right. Uh, 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 blue, pink stripes. Yep, you're coming up and blue shirt right there. Good. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Alright, uh, yes, waving at me like you're having a seizure. Come on up. Gray shirt and black shirt. Yep, yep. Both of you, there we go. That's good, that's good. Oh. Okay. Breathe, alkali, breathe. I said free. The T H. All right. What do we got? All right. So you two, come on in. Stand here and stand here. From right here in the front, I need to know. Give me a job. The scene is 911 Dispatcher. The game is New Line. It is a back and forth conversation. Listen for me, and I'm so sorry to what I'm about to do to about half of you. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Begin, my friend. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, um, so my roommate made these brownies. New life! Yeah, um, so my roommate's missing. What's that? Your roommate's, your roommate's missing? Where, when was the last time you saw him? Uh, like 20 minutes ago. New life! Uh, like an hour ago. New life! Um, 
2020. <laughs> I thought you had to like wait two years. Was that like the standard for reporting it? <laughs> One more time. Sorry. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I, my ears must have been playing tricks on me. My apologies. So, 2020? Yeah. I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> New luck. <laughs> Are you. He didn't move out? New luck. They eat any brownies. <laughs> Come on, I think they moved out. Great job. Great job. Money, continue. Uh, so, how many brownies did they eat? New line! Uh, were there any weirdly shaped weapons? Oh, God. Sorry, did you say weapons? Um, no, I never really went into their room. Uh, did them all the dodo? New line! Uh, <laughs> uh, it's okay. All right. Uh, uh, any witnesses? Um, well, there was me. New line. Um, well, there was my roommate. New line. Um, there were all the people at the party. New line. Um, the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Can restart the scene because. Oh, I need Jesus. <laughs> Bitch, I think you, you shouldn't have had Jesus. I think you need the devil. New life! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, why Jesus? Something went missing. New life! I woke up. There you go. Give him a round of applause. Go ahead, for Fuzzy. Uh, so apparently, I uh, uh, I need some help. I uh, kind of ate some brownies and I uh, kind of got high. All right, you know what? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> So where did you insert them? New line! <laughs> did your mom eat them? New line! <laughs> uh, uh, fuck you, you're lying. Switch! <laughs> Give them a round of applause! So, uh, approximately how many brownies did you consume? I believe maybe six of Echolize. New line! We got uh, brownies out of this! Okay, uh, eight, uh, uh, 12 of, uh, alkali? No line! I ate the whole fucking batch of alkali. <laughs> Five brownies. <laughs> Shit, that means there are none left for me. No line! Okay, and about how big was each one? Uh, maybe as big as my feet. No line! Maybe as big as my dick. <laughs> Okay, um, and, uh, um, how big is that? Would you like to know? New line! Would you want to see? New line! New line! New line! <laughs> Would you like to find out and see and then also experience it? <laughs> yeah, fine. Whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> um, depends. How busy are you tonight? New line! How busy are you tomorrow? New line! How busy are you in 2023? Give them a round of applause! Nine one one. What's your emergency? 
I got a uh, conditioner shoved up my ass. <laughs> Was this during a fall or was this during a scene? No, th this was during um, me, me, you know, messing around. I got, I got high and I wanted to, to you know. New to... line. <laughs> um, uh, my friend dared me to shove it up my ass. Did you take any pictures? New line. <laughs> Did you take any video? Oh Jesus, new line. <laughs> I mean, I can. Do you, do you have Telegram? <laughs> only for subscribers. <laughs> to your OnlyFans? I prefer just for fans. I'd be better. Can, can we get back on topic about the, the conditioner shoved up my ass? I need an ambulance. There you go. Uh, no, I'm in refractory period. It's going to take a few minutes. New line! <laughs> the ambulance driver's drunk. How is this my fucking problem? New line! What am I supposed to do until then? New line! Do you want to shove- You want me to shove one up your ass? <laughs> Already done. <laughs> Give me your eyes, Maybe I need your help. I miss you, Toe. <laughs> miss you too, Alkali. Iggy, you're running it. Iggy, get a new scene. Oh, I need a new scene. Where are we? You are you are at an auto body shop. Do you have any idea what's wrong with it? Um, I don't think the smoke is a good sign. Probably not, but this all started after I got back from Anthrocon. New line. Probably not, but this all happened after I got back from First Squared. New line. I was on FA and I saw you could fuck a car and now everything's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, we've been getting a lot of those in lately. Um, why don't I pop the hood and see what's going on in there? So, I think that's an engine. No, 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 no. That's a squirrel. New line. No, 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 no. That's the engine. New line. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first day on the job. Um, I'm a little nervous. I hope that's, you know, hope that's okay. I assumed that when you mistook an alternator for a squirrel. New line. I assumed that when you pointed off to your friend as an engine. New line. I assumed that when you walked out nude with a shampoo bottle up your ass. <laughs> Okay, 911's not been very helpful today, so I'm doing what I can. Oh, right, I've called 911 too. They're always horrible. Right? And, uh, I mean, the people there, they have to wear these, like, really weird suits. They're all, like, you know, blue and they're all animals. I don't know. Oh. I don't get it. I don't know. How dare you disrespect the first responders of this great nation? <laughs> yeah, fuck them. Look, about my car, I you need this ticket. I already fucked it! No I'm trying to unfuck it! No you wanna double team my car? Oh my God. Well, I mean, I got the pit crew out back, so. What? Line. No. Are you mine? Yes! <laughs> Guys, let's give our performers one more round of Who are very comfortable 
very comfortable with a very quick quick. We're looking for someone you're going to have to be really quick with your responses. All right, I want somebody I haven't really seen up here too much. Uh, actually, yeah, you have only, I think I only saw you up for one, so come on up in the back. Uh, yep, come on yep. up. And Ray, uh, uh, honey, uh, yeah, I don't think I've seen you up too much. Okay, now the rest. Here's what I need for the rest of the performers. We're going to have six performers. The first two performers, I need somebody who's very comfortable with their strength. Who's kind of strong out here. You wouldn't mind holding somebody up. First shooter, I'd love to see a first shooter up here. And you're showing me some guns there, man. You went to the gun show there. All right. You two up on stage. Next, next, I need two tiny people, smaller people. Emil, my friend. Emil, come on up, come on up. And red, red hair, yep, come on up. And finally, I need two performers that are here with props. My hat is my prop. Bunny, little bunny, yep, come on up. And Kane, come on up. Bunny and Kane, all right. All right, where were my first two? Excellent. You got them? Okay, we're gonna switch. You talk to them. Uh, I'm missing two. They're coming. They're coming. Down. Right, you two come down here in the front with me. You're right here. Actually, I call that. No, I was just gonna say they should just stand here, or they should stand in front. They should because they take the whole stage. That's the I just didn't know how many. Right. So. Six minutes to do this. We're going to play some family portrait. Woo! Here's how this works. Our two family members are looking through old, an old picture book of their vacation. On stage, the performers are going to get into a random setting. I won't be looking. I'll call freeze. They will not look until the last second. Turn around and discuss it. All right. Give us a moment to set. over the years and they are genuinely wonderful wonderful people so as we always say if you can give give and if you can't don't worry about it we are the furry fandom and as we've seen in countless years as I am very aware having been informed on how much we've waged already those animals are gonna be fine thank you guys so Woo! much for being here. Oh yeah. Our bearded dragon. They just helped with our bearded dragon. We have to have her neutered because she. Okay, so that gives you an example of how wonderful they are. They helped my friends over here with their bearded dragon having a surgery simply because they were furries. Guys, every every charity we invite to these things falls in love with us, and it's not just about the money. It's all about you. Thank you for fucking being you. You're all amazing. <laughs> All I need from y'all, where did they go on vacation? I don't want it to just be a place. Give me something more. Give me a concept. Give me an idea. You went on family vacation. Oh 
my God, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that amazing family vacation they went to, to the aquarium that did not use tempered glass. Oh, God. Oh. Your vacation to the aquarium that did not use tempered glass. Stage, you know what you're doing? Yep. That's the Turn one around. turning around. Thank you very much. Performers, look at the audience. Stage set! Right now, they are trying to set themselves up into a ridiculous pose. They are trying to make it as silly as possible, and they will probably get through doing it, but that's why we have insurance. <laughs> Oh, honey, you remember our trip to the Atlanta Aquarium? I do. Don't you remember when John was attacked by a flying pufferfish? Oh, <laughs> it was a stingray. The stingray was over there holding a lovely oh. pink, pink bear. You remember that he was trying to be fed it, but they were like, eh, maybe stingrays can eat pink bears. You never know. Oh, I remember Steve Irwin. What, what, what happened to stingrays? Well, Steve Irwin is trash, so, you know, that's just what it is. And so, I love him too. Please love Irwin. And so then there was, of course, you know, the shark. And the shark was already out of water. And I don't know why. They were trying to throw him back into the water. Which is why, you know, good old Uncle Pete had his cane and was like, don't eat me. But, you know, Uncle Pete didn't make it back from the trip. So... <laughs> Uncle Pete died in Nom. That was the name of the shark. Oh, my God! Turn around! came back from basic camp and he was like, hmm, my butt hurts a little more than it should have. <laughs> the penguins were always there, you know, just sliding and having a great time. One time a penguin fell and fell into the lovely teddy bear. We bring it to every trip because you don't know what animal is not going to love it. You all know our niece nephew Katie. Yes. Oh, Pokemon. She did! She almost fell off the basic stage camp while he was trying to show up everyone. But you know, she's a diva, so she stayed on camp. <laughs> oh, I remember. Somebody got uh, some chicken fingers. Yes, they got chicken fingers from Uncle John in the far through it. We have a lot of Johns, it's a family name. Let's not talk about Uncle John. It's true, he's just gonna stay there in the corner because he's a diva. But, you know, there was Patricia. And Patricia was counting him doing the push-ups. But then... He was always doing it push ups. We all know. And those glasses. My God, those glasses. It's true. But then, you know, this was pre Uncle Pete's death. And Pete was back there, you know, just having a great time trying to trip him. But he didn't get tripped yet. This was pre trip from Patricia. Oh, I remember. Uncle Pete slipped over that chicken tender. He did. He did slip on that chicken tender. Only lost one leg that day. Poor Uncle Pete. One leg? I thought he lost a liver in a leg. It's true. Also, some gizzards. Turn around! Oh <laughs> Stage reset! One more. And of course, the final moments at that aquarium. The moment where every single piece of untempered glass shattered into a million pieces. Look 
looking at? Well, what you're looking at is the amazing Patricia and John. They were about to kiss, but then they realized they were cousins, and they were like, oh no. We all know kissing cousins are a thing in Alabama. It's true, even though we were in Atlanta, they're like, ah, oh, the glass is breaking, let's kiss. <laughs> Atlanta? We were in Birmingham, the aquarium. Oh, that's right, it was the Birmingham, Alabama aquarium. <laughs> Can't you see the great Uncle Pete being eaten? <laughs> I'm sorry, he was a great man. He may have had two legs and one arm and no liver, but they tasted so good. He wasn't a shark, it's over there about to eat Let's pray. Let's pray. Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete, Please. in our prayers, in our souls, and not in our livers, we pray that as Patricia is diving over, Golden Rice. Golden Rice, because she looked like a sushi. It's a shimmy. It's a shimmy. That she'll always be the most beautiful tuna to us. And don't forget about the stingray and the lovely bear. It also ended up being a sushi, and they called it a Birmingham roll to this day. Give them a round of applause! Ladies and gentlemen, both and neither. Oh my god. At 8.30 tonight in Indy Hall C, you can join myself and Iggy playing another game of Pyramid. Tonight, 10 p.m. in secondary events is Masturbation with myself and the unbelievable Boozy Badger. And then, of course, if you're interested in one last charity panel, tonight, 11.30 p.m. in secondary events is Monkey Knife Fights, a cacophony of silliness brought to you by myself and the Badger. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, everyone, seriously, I have been doing this panel now for... I think close to... Am I on year 12 now? About that. Oh my god. I've been doing this for about 12 years now. Uh, I come to conventions to run stuff like this, and I cannot thank you enough for being here. Ladies and gentlemen, both and neither, this has been Who's Lines Anyway. Let's hear it for Andy! A huge round of applause for Andy! Thank you guys so much! My name is Al Boy. Don't forget you get out of a convention. What you put into it, enjoy your evening and good night! <laughs>